park where a normal person would park. So that was a red flag. Then they parked on the side of the building where they're basically out of sight. That was the second red flag. When I looked and saw them getting out of the vehicle, they got, they parked on the side of the building. I'm not really? waiting. Now, you saw them in the parking lot, and the first tip off was when he put his mask well, over his face? First, first tip off, I saw him through the front door drive into this parking lot. But they didn't park where a normal person would park. So that was a red flag. Yeah, there you go, right they, there. They parked on the you see how you ran? Where they're basically out of sight. That's what I've been talking about this generation. They're scary as fuck. If you're going to do it, do it all the way. You can't be, you know... You go in and just point the gun at that, and that's what they're trying to make it. They're trying to make a whole, it's not just scary criminals. They don't want us to stand up against them. They want to be like communist Russia, Cuba, you know, when uh, uh, all, all them communist countries, you know, uh, Cuba, where nobody's going to rise up. So they want them. That's what I'm saying. You really think it, 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 I'm just talking street shit, gangster shit. I'm telling you, no. You see how he go in all scary? And you see how fast he just turned tail and ran? They want it like that. They don't want you to... It's a conditioning, so you won't be... You know, basically, you're defeated in life. You, you're just going to accept everything. I ain't even talking about... You shouldn't even have to be doing that. But now, when you do try to change your life and go for a job... You're going to be defeated. You're going to walk in defeated. Really not because you was doing something wrong, but that's the conditioning. They want y'all to be. The old man ain't had nothing to do with it. He was just defending himself. But I'm just, I've been noticed how scary they, they fight scary. Watch watch videos of, they, of them fighting, not for entertainment, but seriously. Like I said, they got some weird style where they try to punch, but they don't want to get hit. They don't go toe to toe where you just punching it till somebody fall. They punch and run backwards. Some kind of weird shit. They try to fight and then punch and then run backwards. Like, and in the comment section, they, they're supporting that shit. None of, nobody's like, both of them are scary. In my day, we'd have been like, man, both of y'all sit y'all ass down. Y'all ain't even fighting. Y'all might as well hug. You know, y'all running away from each other. Both of y'all running around. You got to stand, you know, if you're going to fight, you go fight. But now they supporting it. They, they, you know, they, they call it dodging. Oh, he got he fast. You know, this ain't basketball or, or football. You ain't trying to juke nobody. You trying to knock somebody out. And you, you just if you don't get hit, but you ain't running. If you dodge, you know, you dodge or something like that, but you ain't running backwards. Your feet ain't moving. Not like that. You know, you, you do a little foot, but first of all, you ain't boxing. You street fighting. So that's another thing, and it's a difference. That why do you think boxers don't street fight? Cause that's their hands. You know, they, they they can win the fight, but they might break their damn hand. Now they fucked up. Cause I didn't broke my fist before. That's in my medical records. But you can uh, for them, ain't that, that that's gonna fuck up their career? They parked on the side of the building where they're basically out of sight. That was the second red flag. When I looked and saw them getting out of the vehicle, they got gloves, masks, a weapon. That just solidified the deal for me. I knew what was coming. Now, right after the shooting, you got sick. You had a heart attack. How are you doing? Uh, I, as far as I know, I'm doing better. Uh, I'm doing a lot better than I was that night. Um, Thank you. It was traumatic. Yeah, I don't know what caused it. Uh, Wait, you can't, they can't see the uh, the uh, tag number? Oh, they got a dealer tag. They probably stole that car anyway. It was traumatic. Yeah, I don't know what caused it. Uh, maybe I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're 80 years old, and we're all in shock and, and just amazed at how you reacted in such a, an intense moment with that man walking in with that weapon. Um, what's your advice to business owners who are just so fed up with this crime? Okay, yeah, you see. can do what I did, but, but what you really need to do. See, he's pausing. I think I know what he want to say. He would he yeah, but it's like, you know, you in California, right out to whatever that city is, what's it called, Norco? Ain't that somewhere by L.A.? I don't know. Wherever, I don't know. I never heard of it. But it's, it's in California. But he's saying he's tired of these Democrats. Because there's been a lot of people like, well, I never vote for Democrats. I, even though I live, I'm a lifelong Californian. But I need, 
Yeah, he, he, he but he, he still don't want to come out and say it. He just says politicians, you know, da da da. We all know Governor Newsom, Grusom Newsom. Larry Elder tried to win in California, but they, they didn't want him. So, or either they cheated one or the other. I think they cheated. It's put some pressure on the politicians because they got no clue what's really going on out here in the real world. I could start naming names, but there's a whole lot of them that are See? creating major See, that's the thing. That's why I keep trying to tell everybody. You got to start naming names. They're the ones who came up with, not came up, but started using, don't point the finger. You know, somebody say, don't point the finger. You know, they're doing some dirt. That mean they doing some dirt, and not only that, they don't want to take accountability for the dirt that they did. Problems for business owners, but for lo local law enforcement. Yeah, they cowards. Don't point the finger. Like I said, if you did it, nigga, most of us, we just don't do it. Like, oh, you said, no, I'm not scared, bitch. I'm just not going through all that drama. I don't have to. It's much easier to tell the truth and make honest money. It's way easier. That's why you get mad at me because I be you, he can sleep at night. Yeah, I can sleep at night, bitch. Cause I ain't did nobody dirty, so and you're mad cause you can't, cause you know you, people want to kill your ass for doing dirt. If people want to kill you cause for doing good, we can sleep at night. We ain't worried about it. So uh, what else would I say? I forget. <laughs> nah, I'm laughing at the the you know the cowards. Don't point the finger. It's like nah, nigga, you supposed to be. Yeah, I did it. Do something. That's what I'm saying. Y'all want to take over because that's what y'all want to do. The the globalist Bill Gates. All you want to take over. And you like I said, you got to do it like the old days, Genghis Khan or whoever was conquering shit back in the day. And you got to take over and say, yeah, I did it. What you gonna do about it? Don't don't play games. Because God might even show you favor, even if you don't even believe him in him. I'm, t I'm serious. It's in the Bible. It's about Nebuchadnezzar. You know what I'm saying? He, he let Nebuchadnezzar, you know, whatever. But you read it for yourself. My point is, if you if you you just that dude or y'all just take over. I ain't trying to help you. I just know y'all too cowardly to take over. You know, you got to say, I, I did it. Yeah, what you going to do about it? Now, don't point the finger and try to, you know, play mind games and shit like that and think you're smart and it's no it's not gonna work that's what's wrong with this y'all whole program that's why i laugh at y'all and you're still walking around and shit you know with no money problems for business owners but for lo local law enforcement they're creating problems for them uh, i'm sure they go out and risk their lives taking so you know he mean democrats because they're the ones who you know was against the police. Now they're trying to lie and say, we never have said that and it's all on tape. That's what I'm saying. Don't be a coward. Say, yeah, we said it we, and we mean it and we taking the police away. That's, that's, <laughs> and ain't nothing you can do about it. But you're too cowardly. Cause y'all going exactly, that's the point. You it got to get real, I, I don't want it to get like that, but I'm telling you, that's the only way you can do it. Y'all gonna lose a lot of your people that you love, but y'all the ones started this. We all are going to lose people, but y'all, y'all want, for some reason, y'all can't stop. Y'all just, just got to, America's so racist, and da 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 da, -da be, and walking with, with your little nasty looks on your face, you know. Because we, 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 we think y'all are, well, we know and expose that y'all are evil, and y'all don't want to hear it to your face. Oh, well, get over it. Or do something. Get let, let out with no bail. And these, a lot of these people are career criminals. I'm not talking about the guy that you know goofed up one time, made one mistake. I'm talking about the career criminals. They're career criminals. They need to be locked up. So, if this were to happen again, you would not hesitate. No. Your message to the bad guys? This isn't a good place to pick. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. This isn't a good place to pick. So anybody thinking about it, not a good idea. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And I'm so glad that you're doing so much better. Thank you. All right, Marla, Alex, I'll send it back to Gus and Steve. Gina, one question for him. Uh, was he in the military? Does he have much experience with shooting? Where, where, you know, how is he such a good shot? Alex is asking, how are you such a good shot? Were you in the military? Do you have experience? When I was a kid, uh, when I was 10, I had a gun, and uh, I grew up in Illinois. We had a lot of small game, squirrels, rabbits, quail. 
I put a lot of food on the table on a regular basis, and I had a single shot, so ammunition was expensive when I had to buy it myself. 50 cents was a lot of money, and uh, you don't want to miss. You get a single shot, don't miss. So it still holds true. <laughs> don't. You see, that goes to the anti-gun people. That's what we're saying. First of all, you shouldn't have to have a gun safe. I mean, yeah, for, for when you're not home, you need a gun safe. Because I know people who have had legal guns, my homeboys, or somebody broke in and stole it. But uh, as far as you need to keep it in, no, you need to keep your children in check. You know, like I said, most of us, when we, we only had to be told not to do something that was dangerous once. You know, don't, I remember mean, when you real, I still remember when I was real, real, real little. First time I was told about that, I never, you know, we, we didn't have the, how the, the, the plastic things to put into the electric plugs. Those weren't uh, invented yet. Just don't never stick nothing in the, in the socket. Never, if the, if the, uh, co toaster get, the toast gets stuck in the toaster, you know, as you get older, don't never stick an electric, for, I mean, a fork in there or a knife. Unplug it first to get, and unstick it, you know. Don't ever touch a gun, you know, da 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 da, and on and on and on. It just, you should be able to just tell your child, don't touch it. You, ain't, you don't need all this. That's what we said. They're, dumb, they're dumbing down America. All this safety shit. You shouldn't have to have all this baby proof your house, da 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 da. What'd they do hundreds of years? Babies should have been dying, left them. I mean, they were, but it's from diseases. But not from uh, getting, you know, doing something stupid. They're trying to make everybody stupid. From 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 day one, from the day you were born, obviously you know what I'm saying. But by the time you're a toddler, instead of just telling the child no, by the time they two years old and just getting you a little tiny switch, you know, yeah, start off with a switch about this size, you know, when they two years old. But it got to be one of them wet ones, you know. You gotta get it off the tree, fresh, fresh off, the, <laughs> fresh off. The, you know, everybody, everybody having flashbacks now, like shit, oh shit, yeah. Get the, you know, shit, they get older, you make them go get the switch. That's the worst thing. <laughs> we all had to do that. <laughs> he start crying. I don't know why we would swing it. <laughs> he, but I'm gonna end it with that because you see, yeah, the guy, he said he'd been doing it since he was 10, you know, da da da. And he grew up somewhere in some country ass town or whatever, not even a town, but he, you know, he had to shoot and get his own own food, uh, really for the whole family, sound like, I don't know. But that's the point. You don't need all these safety gun controls and all this shit. We need guns, and no, we don't. We know exactly what we need. It, it, it is, it's, the answer is really get rid of them Democrats and the globalists. It's really a globalist thing. They're trying to take over. That's why they're getting rid of the border. They want one world. It's just like we used to talk about, the new world order. We thought it was a joke or something in sci-fi movies. But really it is. Because like I said, it's clowns trying to do it. Bill Gates, George Soros, whoever, Klaus Schwab, the, 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 uh, the, that, that bunch. You know, the private jet crew, but telling everybody else you can't. Oh, yeah, I saw a video yesterday. They, they, that's why I, I keep bringing up the Klaus guy. They had that little summit again, I guess in Geneva, or wherever. And he's talking about no more private. They're talking about no more private vehicles, anything, none, none, nobody. They, that's what they're talking about yesterday around the whole world, you know, for for the climate, you know, air quotes for the climate. The climate scam is is, is this had nothing to do with uh, cars. I don't care what you say. It's a scam. They just want control. It is, it is, it is, yeah, but so now, and this is real, if you don't pay attention, these motherfuckers really are talking about you won't be able to own a car, you know, so everybody going to be riding a little electric scooter and living in a, living in a cubicle and shit like that, but, uh, but yeah. And it's fucked up. They use, they try to use black people over here to, to set, help set that shit off. You know, set off their world domination takeover. They try to use black people. You know, that's fucked up. And it, it's, it's shameful. It's disgusting. It's hurtful that these people, and a lot of them, they knew better. But they was, they was, I don't know what they promised them because I went, thankfully, I went in the meeting. But they, they must have, I, I don't know, maybe they ain't promising them anything anything maybe they just you know the fact that they was gonna say well them people that that think they hot shots think they better than you which we don't 
we gonna bring them down. And they, they, I think a lot of niggas, that's good enough. They don't care if they still live on the streets, but as long as you gotta live like them now. You thought you was better than us, now you down here with us. You know, it's like, no, nigga, wasn't nobody thinking about you. And actually, it ain't coming to that. That's why I keep trying to tell you. The reason we're not on the level that down there with you is because we're not losers. And that's what I'm saying. You started a fight with the fucking winners. That's what I keep trying all over the globe of any race. All the winners of every race. That's, remember they said that about Biden? He was like, uh, I'm going to unite the country. And all of us immediately after they stole the election, everybody caught on with the same joke. One person didn't have to say it. We all were like, yeah, you you united us. You did. You united the races against you. All the winners of every race. Because they know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make us losers like you. And it's like, no, bro, it's not going down like that. And there's a reason we don't lose. And it's not that we cheated and stepped on you. No, you just don't have it in you, which ain't our fault. You need to complain to God. Seriously. That's what I'm saying. See, the rest of us, when we have problems, we, we'll take it to God. Like, why are you doing this to me? Y'all scared to do it or something? No, you can say what you want. He told you that in the Bible. Talk to him. Tell him. Say what you want. Curse him out if you want. You're mad. I don't have to because I've never really been mad at him like that. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You know, the Jews did it during the Holocaust. Supposedly they had a name for it. They took him to trial and everything. Inside some of the, uh, one of the concentration champs. Yeah, they was mad at God. Why are you letting this happen? You know, during World War II. I forgot they had some kind of name for it. And they found him guilty and everything. But, you know. But, yeah, like I said, y'all, they got y'all brainwashed. And y'all don't even read. But y'all, you know, quote something y'all done heard. A, a Bible verse and never read it for yourself. And you think we 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 should be punished? We're being blasphemous. It's like no, you ain't never read for yourself. You need to read the whole thing. Like I said, I read it twice, cover to cover, maybe even three times. I can't even remember. But but like I said, I wanted to end on that that uh the old dude, you know, who shot him, you know. Oh, shot that though. But like I said, I'm just saying that you, we're trying to tell you everybody is, and you see how quiet he is. Exactly. You see how humble and quiet and he re and also, like I said, he's more, he, he's also worried about getting the protesters, I think. But he's also naturally. And we've been told you that we're the silent majority. That's what we cheat. Y'all just the loud mouths minority. And I ain't even talking about black folks, you know, because mostly, like I said, it was white college kids uh, in the last couple of years doing all the troublemaking, you know. And I it has not. But they're the liberals. That's why I was telling you, why in the hell would you follow some white liberal? Who's mad at their parents for being rich? They feel guilty, so they now they're part of Black Lives Matter, and they they no the country is racist. They, they will give us your money, give us your inheritance. We don't, you ain't gotta give us your dad money, but give us your share. If you if you feel so guilty about white supremacy and racism that none of us was alive for, give us your sign over whatever your dad left is gonna leave you in the will. He's still alive. Sign it over to me. You know. I, I, I'll, I'll forgive you <laughs> I, yeah i'll forgive you then even though i don't hold nothing against you for slavery because you wasn't alive none of us were especially you're younger than me you're only 20 years old you know a college kid so sign over your money and your future earnings you know get you go get you a good career on wall street or wherever hollywood and sign over your money your future earnings and work for free and give me your money for slavery because for as reparations since y'all <laughs> since y'all just had to find basically they wanted to be cool they wanted to be part of something i've been said that the whole even the black folks the black lives matter i said it was for the people who was too cowardly or who wanted to join the gang and probably had real gangs in the area but didn't do it but now they got a reason to be like in a gang but it's for for justice instead of being in a gang like Anybody else with common sense <laughs> for money and pussy, <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm just saying, well, let me get up out of here. But that was it.